Philadelphia chrom chromosome positive leukemia remain one of the worst kind of leukemia in children. The Satanib is a second generation of tyrosine kinase inhibitor, which is available for over 10 years. Because of lack of patient, no study group can have enough patient to do a randomized trial. The preliminary study at St. Jude showed that this is possibly a good drug. We probably can cure most of them without the use of prophylactic cranial radiation. Because China has a lot of patients, so we approach a colleague in China to do a randomized trial to see if the satinib is superior to the first generation of tyrosine kinase inhib inhibitors. So over four years, we have randomized almost 200 patients. We are happy to show that the desatinib is indeed superior to the first generation drugs. More importantly, we can spare all the patients from getting prophylactic cranial irradiation, which is still commonly used for this type of leukemia. So this drug showed that desatinib should become the standard of care for children with Philadelphia, Philadelphia chromosome positive aculeoplasty leukemia. Having said that, there's still plenty of room for improvement because we only can cure 65 to 70% of the patients. This is totally not acceptable. We want to cure patients over 90%, or we hope to cure all of them. So there's still a lot of room for improvement. So for the next step is we really need to combine the world effort. So we need to do study so that we can get enough patients to do a good try so that we can compare, uh, so they can put the outcome to over 90, 100%. So this randomized benefit patients not only in China, not only in US, but around the world. Because this sadness should be the standard of care for all children around the world with this type of leukemia. So the next step, we really need to do global study to test even uh, newer novel drugs. So perhaps combined with additional novel drugs, we can further push the outcome toward 90%, better yet, to cure them all. <laughs>